Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Nationals versus Twins Major League Baseball matchup on Wednesday, May 22nd, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK to take 15% off. We also have products meant for people who make larger bets, people with bigger bankrolls looking for that VIP concierge style service. We offer these type of products. They're just not available on the website. They're easy to get. You just got to text the number you see on the screen. So if you're betting 500 to $1,000 or more per game, looking for a long-term winning solution, not bailouts or parlays, uh, by all means, text the number. But let's get to it. Got the Twins taking on the Nationals. The Twins, of course, really struggling of late. Um, you know, that, that nine-game winning streak that they had or whatever, not you know, double-digit winning streak that they had just a few weeks ago, really in the rearview mirror. Now it was all about the losing streak that they had. And, you know, the Twins, you know, trying to hang in the 500 range at this point, you know, when they were once starting to get back to the lead in the American League Central, a place where they sat last year when they won the division. Two good young pitchers going at it, and this one, Jake Irvin gets the ball for the Nationals. And it's Simeon Woods Richardson on the mound for the for the Twins, making his sixth start of, of the year. He's got a 2.97 ERA, allowing 29 hits over 30 and a third innings, 10 earned, 25 strikeouts, and just two home runs allowed and six walks. So keeping those walks and home runs down have certainly paid dividends for Woods Richardson, but he just doesn't go very deep into games, and that has been his issue uh, for this one. For the Nationals in this one, it is Jake Irvin on the mound. The Nats have lost his last three starts and four of his last five it's not really his own doing he hasn't pitched all that poorly in those games it's just he's gotten basically no support the only game that they won that he pitched he pitched a shutout against the Dodgers meanwhile um you know we look at uh Irvin's numbers 3.91 ERA allowing 47 hits over 50 and two-thirds innings nine walks four home runs you know 22 earned runs he has done more than just a respectable job this season when we look at uh, how these teams are uh, are hitting the baseball you know over overall the numbers for these teams certainly could be a a lot better than what than what they are when we look at the uh when we look at the twins 229 average as a team over the season to the nationals uh, hitting 225 overall for the season. But when we break it down to just the last 10 games or so, the Twins' batting average drops all the way down to 198, while the Nats goes to 212. So, like I said, neither of these teams really hitting the baseball at all. When we uh, when we look at the, um, you know, versus righties type, type deal, you know, when we look at the, uh, at, at the Nationals, uh, slightly better when we look at over the course of the season and really over the last 10 games once again the Twins hitting just 184 versus right-handed pitching I think you know Woods Richardson is 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 maybe the better option at starter but I don't think he goes deep enough and that Twins bullpen always vulnerable especially against uh, you know against these Nats that just while they're not hitting for big average they're not getting a ton of walks not a lot of extra base hits but man, they're making them all count. I'm going to take the Nationals, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.